Hello, and welcome to the topic of tool correction with the Zeiss reverse engineering software. In this video, we will explain the tool offset with an example. We will start with a new project and import the actual data, the nominal CAD data, and the CAD data of the current tool, which is available here as a shrinkage model. All of the data must have the same coordinate origin for the tool correction. Step one. First, create a structure in the Model Explorer. Then, separate the areas to be corrected from the scan, CAD nominal, and tool. The inner cylinder and the lower plane will be corrected. Display only the CAD nominal data. Open the extract part body from the body function. Select the area of the cylinder and execute the function. Then select the plane and execute the function. Rename the created copies. Repeat the same process with the CAD tool. Display only the CAD tool data. Open the extract part body from body function. Select the area of the cylinder and execute the function. Then select the plane and execute the function. Rename the created copies. From the separation of the actual data set, use the dynamic subsection. The newly created STL data is now is also renamed. Step two, the deviations are inverted from the nominal CAD data and transformed to the tool CAD data. To execute this, open the function Special 3D Mappings. Select the start surface by clicking on it in the CAD surface, in the CAD. In this case, the area nominal one. Then activate the target surface and select it in CAD, in this case, the area tool 1. With the control key, select the actual data, in this case, the area 1. Now execute the function. The model explorer now shows the inverted point cloud and the transformed point cloud. 
the newly corrected surface is created from the transformed point cloud. Repeat step two for the second correction surface. For the execution of the function special 3D mappings, select the surface by clicking on it in CAD. In the case, in this case, the area nominal 2. Then activate the target surface and select it in CAD. In this case, the area tool 2. With the control key, select the actual data. In this case, the area 2. Execute the function. Step 3. In the Model Explorer, you will find the inverted point cloud and the transformed point cloud. Create the new corrected surface for Area 1 and Area 2 from the transformed point cloud. For Area 1, create a freeform surface type plane with the UV50 segments. For area 2, I create a freeform surface type cylinder with the U50 V2 segments. The surfaces to be corrected are located in the surfaces group. These can be exported. The intersection and trimmings can be done in your CAD software. The trimming and intersection can also be done in the ZRE software. This is covered as part of a training.